You hear it everywhere. Looking to throw the Hail Mary. Just infiltrated our society. Heaves the ball to the end zone, hoping for a miracle. Your back's to the wall. Looks like the game is lost. It is unbelievable what has happened here. Some way, somehow, somebody makes a play to help your team win. Takes the snap. Ups and watch. He's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. The original Hail Mary was a one-on-one -on -one situation where I beat Nate Wright to make that play. Pearson makes the catch at the five, touchdown! Headlines read, Cowboys win by Hail Mary. And that's when it all took off. It was pretty eerie playing that game in Minnesota Metropolitan Stadium because it was an overcast stadium. It was about 25 degrees. What also made it an eerie situation was the fact that both teams were on the same sideline. And I swear that stadium was rocking with the fans going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> They were leading seven nothing at halftime. We scored late in the fourth quarter to make the score 10 to seven. Uh, they scored later in the fourth quarter. Ahead and he's dead. Once we got the ball back with limited time, you know, we had to go 91 yards for a touchdown to win the game against this great Viking defense. We got bogged down on the third and uh, 10. Man, this is the crucial part of the ball game. You can't be doing stuff like this. And that's when we got into the fourth and 16 situation. Roger going down here, Drew Pearson. And did he make the catch? He did. So as I'm catching the ball, I got knocked out of bounds into the snowbank. I felt this little kick. But later I found out it was a security guard that came over and just gave me a little swift kick in my ribs. But later I went up to Minnesota and I did an autograph session. But guess who was next to me? That security guard. And he's the hero of the state of Minnesota. <laughs> well, the Cowboys need a miracle, as we said. Second and 10, Cowboys from the 50. The Hail Mary pass wasn't a play in the playbook. You know, Coach Landry gave us confidence to add lid in those situations. Humps and watch. He's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. We're running neck and neck downfield. I look back, and the ball's underthrown. And I did that swim move we receivers like to use to get inside position on the defensive back. And with that contact, he went down. And as I brought my hands around, the ball came. It was right there, right hit me right in my hands. And then it went through my hands. It slithered through my hands and stuck between my elbow and my hip. And I looked down, and the ball was right there. And I ended up backpedaling into the end zone for the final five yards and a touchdown. And the Cowboys score! Out of the corner of my eye, as I caught the ball, I saw an orange object. And I thought it might be a flag. But when that orange object hit the ground, it kept rolling and it was actually an orange. Somebody in the stands threw an orange out of the stands, and I've never seen a flag roll. So when I saw that orange roll out of the corner of my eye, then I knew we had a touchdown. Staubach hit Pearson on a 50-yard touchdown, and Pearson throws the ball over the scoreboard. Over the scoreboard, into the parking lot, and it's probably still there. <laughs> And uh, after the game, everybody asked Roger what happened. He said, I threw the ball as far as I could. I closed my eyes and I said, a Hail Mary. And uh, I was the one that caught it. <laughs> Boy, what a great comeback. They've got something to be proud of. One time I had to take care of this business in Minnesota and I was getting ready to get in the cab. It was minus 30 degrees or whatever. The cab driver recognizes me. He says, you're Drew Pearson? I said, yes, I am. He said, I don't know where you're going, but I'm not taking you. Because the old diehard Minnesota Viking fans uh, still remember that and it still cuts deep with them. I still am the enemy of the state in Minnesota. I'm proud of it. Hood, hood. <laughs>